opening. Open. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Hi, Robin. Did you get your package? Hi, Mary. Hey Facebook, if you're listening, could you do me a favor and make a thing where I can just share with one click to all the places I want to share? Thanks. <laughs> and while you're waiting for me, if you guys wouldn't mind sharing, that would be awesome too. I am going to be making 10 different bows. I know I'm crazy. I probably could have came up with a lot more too. I'm okay. I have a call on Thursday with a surgeon. Today I get to go have my eye looked at. <laughs> um, ended up in the ER again on Saturday. I mean, sorry, that was that was the first day. I ended up in the ER again yesterday. Um, I'm okay right now. I just am ready to be better. <laughs> Did you get your wreath, Robin? I hope so. Almost done. So if you're just joining, I am making 10 different bows today. I could have came up with a lot more, but um, I was just trying to come up with a good amount. Hi, Virginia. Trying to come up with a good amount and a good variety. Um, and then I thought I'd be, you know, silly or, um, because I decided to name them. <laughs> um, I'm going to end up posting this on my YouTube channel. So I just had wanted to also make sure that, um, you all could refer back to it if you wanted. Hi, Anne. Thanks for joining. You picked a really great time to join. I'm going to be doing 10 different bows today. Okay, one more place to share to, and then I can get started. And if you all wouldn't mind sharing, that would be awesome too. I'd appreciate that. Hi, Carrie. How are you? I'm gonna make some bows today. All right, I think I'm good. Hopefully I can see okay, see the comments. <laughs> so, I just had this one because I made it the other day and I decided I wanted to make it um, a little bit smaller for what I was making it for. Um, actually, I've got this milk jug um, that's patriotic, red, white, and blue, and with stars and stripes on it. And so I decided to make a bow for it and um, I felt this was too big. So just kind of had an example sitting here. So I thought I'd show you guys. 
Um, I don't think this is one of the types that I'm going to be making today. Um, so call that number 11. <laughs> um, I'm going to actually be using the Deluxe Easy Bow Maker for all of these today. Um, I actually, I know, I'm really, you guys are going to think I'm funny. But that's okay, because I am. As long as you don't call me funny looking. Um, I have made a sign, and it's going to be backwards, unfortunately. I tried to figure out how I could do it otherwise, but I couldn't. So I made a sign for each bow that I'm going to be making. And I'm going to put this out here, so I'm doing this for a couple reasons. One, you know what I'm going to be doing right now. Two, when you refer back, you can easily look for, okay, I want to see the handmade bow that Angela made. And, um... <laughs> you know what, Virginia, it took me forever to do the same thing. So, um, I don't know about you all. I can read backwards, but I'm still going to read it to you. Um, maybe I can fix this for next time, but unfortunately when you're using your phone, um, it go is backwards. However, I'm very excited because I finally found a webcam and it's coming today. Yay! So I think things will not be backwards then. And you'll actually get to see me. So, um... I made a sign for each one. So for example, this very first one that we're gonna do, and I'll just go over this one, and then from here, I'll show you what I'm, the sign, and then and we'll just continue. I'm using one ribbon. That ribbon today is going to be this bicycle one. Why am I using it? Because with a handmade bow, and I'm going to show you, when you have a ribbon that is basically right side up, if you will, if you use, if you did not make it handmade you would actually have it upside down at a certain point when you're making your loops so it's easier to do if you want to keep your ribbon right side up the way it's supposed to be it's easier to do a handmade bow in that regard so the handmade bow is the first one we're going to be doing with the bicycle ribbon so we're using one ribbon it's a two and a half inch it's from a two and a half inch roll of ribbon we're going to do an eight inch tail with a four inch loops, there's going to be one loop on each side, okay? So, when you refer back to this video, then you can look for the title of it if you remember it, but this should be giving you an easy reference as well. So, I'll just go ahead and set this here so you can still see it while I do it. I do not need the Deluxe Easy Bow Maker for this. I am, I already measured it out, and this is, so this is a yard. I measured out 36 inches based on the eight inch tails and the four inch loops. So I'm just going to cut this. So the way I cut the dovetail is I actually cut from the wire in, but you can actually, depending on which way you're holding it, you can actually cut it from in going out as well. Okay. So eight inch tails. Um, I think you can see my measurements. I'm not sure. Uh, no, you can't. Okay, let me move this a little bit. Let's see. I think you can kind of see it now. So I'm just going to start at the 28 because I want an 8 inch loop. So what you're going to do, you can't see it still. I'll just move this forward. Okay. So this is the 8 inch mark. So you're just going to scrunch it up right here. Okay. You are not going to twist it like I normally do. What you're going to do is you're going to use it, hold it between your thumb and your index finger, okay? We're doing four inch loops. So when I say four inches, we're going to measure this out here, but it's technically going to be an eight inch loop because it, you gotta, you know, fold it over. Hi, mom. So let's see, four inch loops, that is here. Is that here? Yeah, here. So then you just, I'm going to, so I can keep that, that length. So then I'm going to take it, I'm holding it all together, and I'm just going to scrunch it together again. Okay, so now I'm holding it all. Still in the same, same way. Actually, I need to hold it this way, because now, see, it was gonna be up. Well, I guess I could hold it the other way for you guys, but. Oh, I lied. Let me start over. Here is the tail. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I need to measure out eight inches. Let's see. 
Okay. There we go. Okay. So then what you do is you just take this and you fold it up. Okay. See how it's all still going the same direction. You scrunch that up into your hand, which you're making them is a middle. Okay. So I cut enough that I could either do seven inch tails with five inch loops or eight inch tails with the four inch loops. And I had decided to do the four, but since I have the extra, I'll go ahead and I'll make it five inches. So this is really good to show you guys. I'm going to do, still going to do an eight inch tail. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out 10 inches because it's going to be a five inch loop. Because when I fold it in half, it then becomes five, right? Okay. Then just going to flip it over. And I'm going to gather it. I'm still holding it with the same fingers. The way to make sure that the loops are the same is I'm just going to hold them while holding the middle and see that they are both the same. You see that? And as you can see, the bicycle is still all going the same way. It is not upside down. Okay. So that's a simple one loop handmade bow with a ribbon that is right side up. So what I'm going to do to attach it, I'm just going to go ahead and I have half of a pipe cleaner right here. So I'm just going to use that. Hi, Nancy. I used to not like it and I love it now. Um, I'm actually going to be making 10 different ones today. So I'm just going to put this here. And then what you can do is you can actually fold it in half, if you will, and then pulling it with, with your, the hand that's holding the ribbon and then twist it just to get it nice and tight. Okay. This is the part you can actually use to attach it to whatever it is you're making it for. Really, Deanne? See, I'm not a huge fan of making it handmade. It really just depends. Um, but I do have a couple that I'm going to be making. So when you fluff it out, you actually, the way that you fluff it out, you can actually hide that pipe cleaner. And then I'm going to cut the tail as well. So this should have been something that I could have done within a few minutes, but I didn't want to rush and I wanted to take the time so that you all could see and, and understand what I was doing. So there is handmade bow. This is bow number one. And it's just something simple for the ribbon that is right side up that you want to keep it right side up. Okay. So that's one. Hi, Carol. How are you? Um, Virginia, it's okay. I, uh, I go today at, um, one o'clock. It's still bothering me. Thank you, Kathy. Love you too. All right. So that's one. And I have to figure out where I want to set these aside when I'm done. I guess I'll just put them over there. <laughs> okay. Next. I have dubbed this next one. It's a starburst bow. But this one is, I'm calling it the baby starburst. Hi, Dad. Okay, thank you. I thought I had another one. Or did we already use that no, one, that too? That was the one. Oh, we just used it. it's not in the middle? No, okay. I got that one. Okay. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Dad's here. So, the baby starburst bow is going to be five ribbons. Two of them are going to be two and a half inch rolls. Three of them are going to be one and a half inch rolls. They're going to have eight inch tails. Okay. This one, I decided, is going to be a red, white, and blue bow. These are the ribbons that I'm going to be using, okay? Eventually, I'm going to learn how to make a bow upside down, too, so that I can uh, do that for you, but I'm not that co uh, coordinated yet. 
<laughs> so I'm just going to cut my tail. This one, I love this ribbon. It's super cool because it looks like flannel on one side and then it looks like this on the other side. Can you see that? It's super cool. I don't know. I love it. I had no idea. I thought it was going to be flannel-like when I got it, and it was. All right. But I didn't know the other side was going to be the way it was, and I thought that was super cool. So here's my 8-inch tail, and I am going to twist it. But the only time that you don't twist the tail is when you're doing uh, the handmade bow. Okay? So this, because it's the baby, I'm going to make a little baby one. Um, I will go ahead and I'm going to do a five inch loops with this. So let's see. So you make your loop and this deluxe easy bow maker is awesome because it has a ruler on it. So I can pull it out to the five and you just kind of want to put your finger in there. You don't want to flatten it. Okay. Just pull it out to that point And then when you put it in, you twist it. So you have the back side facing up. Some people call it the bad side, the ugly side, whatever side you want to call it. That's all up to you. So then I'm going to measure another five over here. And since this is the baby, I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to just do two loops of this on each side. I call it the baby because my little my little puppy Franklin I call him da baby and I actually was gonna call it that but people would have been like why are you calling it that <laughs> so okay I like to just make sure my tail or my my loops are good some people can do this so much faster than me but I don't know slow and steady wins the race for me <laughs> okay so there's loop number two I'm just going to go ahead and cut the end. Let's see. You can try and 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 um, put it together and and um, line it up. That's the word I was looking for. Jeez Louise. Or you can just eyeball it. Usually, once I get used to it, I can eyeball it. But it's just all depends on the person. So then you're just gonna do your dovetail. Oh, good. You can read my comments, Dad. <laughs> I, I said, hi, Rosie. Oh, did, oh, I didn't see that. She didn't answer me. That's because she doesn't like you. I guess not. <laughs> so with the starburst, I'm actually going to be putting the tail up here. Because while we're going to have the tails, it's actually not going to be hanging directly down. Okay. So let me just put this away. Then we're going to be doing this one. And I, I like this one. I just don't like the material of it because you can hear it. <laughs> yeah, that is very true too, Deanne. Thank you. Oh, look. Hi, Nancy. Say hi, Nancy. She hi, said Dad. hi, Dad. Oh, hi, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to cut the end again. Measure out our tail at 8 inches, which is here. Just gonna scrunch it up. Okay, twist it. Then I'm going to put I put it up. That's the next way I go. Okay. Now we're going to make these the next loop smaller, but we're only going to do one loop on each side. So I'm going to do a four inch loop. there <laughs> mom said hi Sal wow everybody let's just say hi to each other Hi, my beautiful wife. 
You're such a dork. <laughs> I love it though. <laughs> <laughs> See, Nancy got it. Everybody say hi. <laughs> There's no other place that everybody can have so much fun as watching you make bows. Oh, thanks, Dad. Did and you you're say that? Good at it. Oh, thank you. I actually enjoy having everybody here. The last couple times, especially, have been I don't know. It's it's been fun to me. Um, I don't know about you all. Thank you, you for faking it. it if if it's if you're not enjoying it. <laughs> you have to make it fun, otherwise, why are you doing it? And then you have to fake it till you make it, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I love this so. All right, now we're gonna move on to one and a half inch. When I was coming up with ways, so my parents were here. I was probably driving them and my husband crazy. Except for my mom, because she was really more in tune. My dad and my husband were ignoring me, pretty much, so. Always. Yes, always. I think they like each other more than they like me, but that's okay. Less is more. <laughs> Hi, Virginia. Okay, eight inch tail. Twist it. And big cell call to see how you were doing. Aw, that's nice. Yeah, I um, have had a couple trips to the ER uh, Saturday and yesterday. I'm gonna do a three inch loops here and I'm going to do two on both each side. I um, I haven't made anything really lately, Nancy. <laughs> it feels weird. I feel awkward because I'm just so used to going, going, going. She pulled out a small wreath. I did. She did last year. <laughs> <laughs> I actually just decided I'm going to finally make myself a wreath um, for my front door. So I will be uploading this to YouTube as well. Um, I've got so many things that have been going on that have been good, besides the whole eye thing and the whole ER thing, which is different than the eye thing. And oh my gosh. Um, so right now, you may know, I have a contest going on. I am trying to get to a thousand followers on Facebook, 400 on Instagram, and 300 on YouTube. And I'm very happy to announce that I'm almost there for Facebook. I'm getting pretty close on uh, Instagram and YouTube. So I have the contest is on my page, but I am giving away a wreath that I currently already have in stock uh, to one winner. If you like and subscribe, to all three, you get an entry. If you share with others, and you can show me that you've shared with others, you will get a second entry. Nancy wants to know how you do with your eye. Uh, yeah, my eye is good. I go to the eye doctor today. So, so then, once um, I've made the milestone on all three, is when I will be picking a name. So. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube, follow my Facebook, like my Facebook, and uh, follow me on Instagram. I understand that not everybody has all of them, but... Nancy's going to check it out. Thank you. And then I started a new group. I'm actually gonna do one loop on each side of the same size, okay? <laughs> um, it's called the um, Cre Creative Crafters Guild. Um, I wanted to have a place where people can go and share whatever, sell whatever that they make um, buy stuff if they see something that somebody's made that they want to buy. Um, do a live if they want to do a live. Um, pretty much the sky's the limit. I wanted to give everybody the creative freedom. 
So again, it's called Creative Crafters Guild. Um, we've just started growing. And because uh, I just made it actually on Father's Day. I, I took my husband golfing and decided to make a group. <laughs> Deanne just downloaded Instagram so she could Oh, me. awesome. Thank you, Deanne. Let me know and then I can uh, add, you, add you to the list. Um, I think what I've decided to do also in that group, I'm going to um, actually do um, a live. I did. It'll be separate from the lives that I do on here, though. Um, Nancy, that's a good question. I think... I might, I might sell them, but I'm not sure. I'm, maybe I can use them for something else because once you see, I, I have all different color combinations. There is no one the same. Um, so maybe I can use it uh, for other ones, but I haven't decided yet. Should I sell them? So this, I'm just going to do a simple loop Just like that, and that's it. Uh, Sharoni Lane shared the stream. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'll sell them then. <laughs> you know, I actually, I decided to, I think I'm, so, oh, I have more news. Jeez Louise. Um, I am going to be selling wreath kits. Um, I have three. I'm working on it right now. I have um, a bicycle one that I was going to do the class, but I had to cancel it. So I have a couple extra kits from that now. And um, they're going to be $40 each. And I'm going to um, post them to my shop where they can be purchased, there will be instructions, and then there will be, um, it'll be on the video, I think it'll either be on YouTube, or it'll be on um, uh, Vimeo, I haven't decided yet. Um, Virginia, just type in Creative Crafters Guild, and then choose to um, join the group, and then um, there's some questions if you can answer them, and then I can approve it. Nancy wants to get one of them. Okay. Let me know when I'm done which one you like, Nancy. That'd be awesome. Deanne wants that one. Oh, you want this one? Okay. I will have to price these out then when I'm done. Um, my mind could only put everything together to make it. I just hadn't priced them yet. I hadn't thought that far ahead, even though it, it crossed my mind, so... So this is what I do. I actually um, take a zip tie and then I'm going to actually take a pipe cleaner also. And I'm not going to cut that one. Deanne wants you to save her one. Okay. Um, I'll post them so you can see them all too and then you can pick. So right now it's not, they're not, I'm not fluffing it yet because I'm just getting it situated because I still, I want to, Pull this one over here, this one here. Yeah. Bike kit? Yes. So I have a bicycle wreath, I have the a patriotic one, and I have a fall wreath that I've bought supplies for. I have um, I have everything to make the kits. Um, I supply um, and I will ship to the U in you know wherever in the US. Um, so it comes with the um, the wire, the form, the wreath form. You'll see it in the picture too when I post it, but it comes with the wreath form. It comes with um, a hanger. It comes with a bag to store it in if you need to, um, because I know, you know, sometimes we don't keep them up all year long. It comes with a 21 inch roll of mesh, a 10 inch roll of mesh. It comes with um, two two and a half inch ribbons and one one and a half or two one and a half inch. However, on the um, uh, the fall one, I messed up with ordering, so there's four two and a half inch. <laughs> Nancy wants one of the kits. Okay. Bicycle kit. All right. Just send me a message so I don't forget to. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this a little bit more. I'm going to put this pipe cleaner in. I will fluff these bows because you know, we wanna see what they look like, right? Handy dandy wire cutters. I love these. Let's see. And I'm actually gonna hold the the pipe cleaner to help me. I'll go back through the comments too so that I can see what everybody's requesting. I am going to be putting the kits up in my shop. I'm still working on it. There will be instructions included. Um, it'll tell you, you know, like the tools you need, the materials you'll get. Um, Everything you need for complete. Yeah. And then um, then that's at www.3, that's the number three, um, L-E-L-L-E, -L -L creations.com. It'll be in my shop. You can really just lay the tails out however you would like. I just kind of like how it looks like a starburst, if you will. And just Robin wait. Therese will be here today. Oh, okay. You can't wait. I'll send you pictures. <laughs> I shouldn't have. It, it actually said it should have only taken a day. I thought you would have gotten it yesterday. Not with this day and age. No kidding. Not with this, yeah. All right, I think that's fluffed good enough, guys. What do you think? And honestly, the thing I really like about the Starburst too is that it doesn't matter which way you're holding it. Either way, it's the same, or essentially it's the same, and it'll look fine because this is the way you intended to make it for the butt, or for the wreath, so, or whatever you decide to put it on, so. Can you guys see that? Dad, can you do me a favor and turn this light on? I don't know if that'll help at all, but. Yay, okay. So, that's the baby starburst bow. That's wreath number two. I missed the first one. It's right here. Here's the first one. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was busy looking. <laughs> oh good, I can hand these to you. Will you just, here, like that, and then here. Don't smush them so I can show them at the end. Okay, thanks. No, you don't know, I just have to hold them, Dad. <laughs> All right, next. We're doing another Starburst, but this is going to be like a regular one, if you will. And this one is going to be um, uh, longer tails with three rolls of two and a half inch ribbon and two rolls of one and a half inch. I need to put this away. I've got all my ribbons situated. Let's see. Oh, I love these colors. <laughs> I'm so excited about this one. Okay. Can you make me a bow tie? Yeah, you can. I'll make you a bow tie, Dad. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm not very coordinated. Okay, so we are using, we're making a fall bow. I absolutely love this and I cannot find it anywhere anymore, so I'm very sad, but I'm going to be using this two and a half inch with this two and a half inch chevron, which is like a tan burlap and a moss green, along with, this two and a half inch burgundy Ooh, that's pretty. and like a tan oh my god i'm so excited that is pretty. along with this orange which will bring out the orange in this and this tan with the swiss dots okay oh so excited Beautiful. i'm so excited i wonder if i should do that's no one I like. this one yeah the burgundy yeah i love it Actually, this one is going to be in the fall wreath kit. Little sneak peek. 
Oops. Okay, so this is Starburst, and this is going to have 10 inch tails. So the last one had eight inch. And the loops were smaller, okay? So, 10 inches. Twist it. And I don't know why, but I always start down here. So, let me just move this up a little bit. And I think we did, yeah, we did five inch loops. So what we're gonna do is um, six inches. So out to the six and we're going to twist it. Oh, I just think these colors are so pretty. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to do, I think, three loops on each side. Oh, man. And, of course, I got the roll of ribbon that has the seam in it. You'll Whoa. see it in a minute. Why do they do that to me? <laughs> I swear it's a conspiracy. Let's just see if you even notice. I'm not even going to say anything. I mean, I might. Who are we kidding? Nancy cannot find the new page created of Crafters Guild. Hmm. My phone is there. I've actually posted something on this page, Nancy, so you, you should be able to find it on here because I have posted stuff. <laughs> I'm so excited I won against the ribbon. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys where it is now. It's right here. So it's going to be underneath. Oh, I'm so glad. I see. <laughs> yeah, so if you go onto my page, the 3L page that we're on right now, um, I know I have reposted stuff. Your mom wants to know how you're feeling. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I, uh, I'm ready for the eye doctor today especially. I just uh, want to see better. then this is going to go up here. Ooh. Ooh, this is so pretty. <laughs> oh, should I do this one next? I think I should actually. <laughs> I'm gonna do this one next, yeah. <clears throat> Nancy, let me know if you find it. Please. It is a public group, too. I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I wanted to tell you guys? I've got so much going on that I feel like I'm forgetting stuff. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. we're gonna do two loops on each side, five inches with this one. Was he mesmerized? <laughs> what a baby.
So Thursday, if you saw, I am not doing happy hour. I'm doing 10 o'clock, so sorry. It'll be five o'clock somewhere, so you're welcome to have happy hour still. It's still gonna be happy hour in my opinion. But um, I just have an appoint. I have a phone consultation with the surgeon um, when we normally would have been. Um, Linda Hi, Linda. Oh, and I see Nancy found the group. Yay. Hey, Copper, what are you doing? He's like scratching the rug. He's, he's Is he to, making his bed? Yeah, yeah he's circling. <laughs> circle, circle. Uh huh. Circle. Is he still circling? <laughs> so, now he's laying down. Oh, there he is. How do you know Nancy found the page? I saw a notification. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to do one loop with this. I love that material. Mm -hmm. I just, I love these colors all together right now. I'm, I'm liking it. Yeah. This, I, uh, so I, In the beginning, it's like, what the heck? I know. Green and maroon. I know. I'm telling Well, you see the colors in this ribbon. Yeah. And so I'm just trying to pull those colors out. Yeah, so I was, I was very excited to have that plain orange. I think this might be my favorite, though, but... Let's see. Yeah, oh, I'm behind. Are you? Yeah. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, what the heck? Oh, this was starting to flip over and I didn't know why. Okay, I got it. Wait a minute. <laughs> All right. Linda bought an easy bow maker yesterday. Oh yeah? I love it. I like it better than the Bodabra. And as you can see from my lives, I only use the Bodabra to help me with my wreath. <laughs> with my wreath. <laughs> okay, stay. Two inch on that one. These are all two and a half inch. Is that what you're asking? Yes, yeah. I'm, I'm learning. Oh, okay. It's either one and a half inch or two and a half inch. No, I'm talking about the bow end. You know, how far the the. Uh, oh, I'm at three. That was a four inch loop. Okay. Is that what? Well, yeah. Hold okay. Fifty percent off coupon at Michaels. Linda says. Oh yeah, you know. I am. Um, oh yeah, that's really a good time to buy it for sure. Because I believe it's fifteen dollars. No, no, no. Yeah, the, the bow dabber is more expensive. The bow dabber is like twenty two dollars, um, and it's really not any bigger, and it doesn't have a measurement. I don't know. It's still nice. Don't get me wrong. It's easier to make these with the bow. Uh... This, uh, but the deluxe easy bow maker? Yeah. It just I think it's just a personal preference too. Okay, now we're moving on to one and a half inch. With the same ten inch tails. And I, Mary, if you're still here, I'm wearing, I'm using that rust one that we found at Shinoda. <laughs> How come it's done? What the heck? <laughs> I don't know what the deal is with me and ribbon. Look at that. Is that a flaw? Yeah. Okay, let me just see where it lands. Otherwise, it's getting cut off. I think it's a conspiracy. I'm really starting to think that. Oh, man, it could. Oh, no. Good. There's no. Oh, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> nope. But let's just see. <laughs> what the heck? Linda has a bodabra okay. tail. Okay, so this was going to be a 10-inch tail, but what I'm not going to waste it. So we're going to make do with what we've got. So I'm going to cut the other end as a dovetail, 
I'm going to just fold it in half and this is going to be our tails for this ribbon. See that? You can make do with what you got. You're, imp you're impressed, huh, Dad? Very. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm going to cut this off because apparently they decided to use tape to keep it all together. Mm -hmm. I'm not bitter. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. Okay, so this one's going to have just, I'm going to do an extra tail. Good thing the Starburst bow, it's just kind of, you know, it's eclectic, if you will. It's just all over the place. I, and I think um, instead I'm going to do an 8 inch. Linda bought a small bodabra to make bows for her granddaughter but never used it. I would use it when you make your wreaths, to tell you the truth. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to do two on each side. And I'm going to do it a little bit smaller than we did the burgundy one. Donna loves the easy bow maker. I do too. You know, I haven't used the Pro Bow one though. So I don't know if anybody else has. So this is going to be a three inch loop, okay? And we'll do two on each side. Jeanette. Hi, Angela. Hi, Jeanette. Oh, Jeanette, guess what? Oh my God, I'm so excited. So after you posted that you got your, you got your webcam, I was like, okay. She found it by dumb luck. I'm going to find one. I found one on Office Depot. I found one I wanted, and I'm getting it today, and I'm so excited. So thank you. Did she get her she shed? No. <laughs> <laughs> she actually made a really cute apron when she finally does her live, because she hasn't done one yet. Um, but she's got an awesome apron to wear. So. She said what? But she was getting a shed. No, I'm, I was talking about the webcam, so I don't know. The webcam is, is important. I'm so excited. You guys will actually get to see me. I know, right? I'm so excited! <laughs> <laughs> uh. It's the little things. It really doesn't take much. It doesn't. Woohoo, Jeanette said. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody, I was so excited for her too yesterday because we have been trying, I mean, everybody's been looking for webcams and they are sold out everywhere. No, it's not actually. Can you see it? It's like a linen. It's really, really nice. It's kind of got like a two tone to it. I don't know, it's kind of like it's got a brownish tint, if you will. Like a burnt orange. It is, a, yeah, but it's it still looks kind of orange, but also another color. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's talking about, <laughs> sorry, she's talking, I think she's talking about her apron. <laughs> it's glitter. Oh, my gosh. The things we do, the things that make us excited, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna do one loop on each side. And I'm gonna do it at the same. Well, hopefully this will help. I'm doing 10 different ones. <laughs> And you can refer back. I even gave you a cheat sheet telling you what I'm using. So I think I'm just going to leave this like this. I'm not going to do a little loop in the middle. Do it, Linda. And you know what? It's the old school tomato. I think I got it at Michael's. And if you, if any of you shop at Michael's, just FYI, um, you can get a discount if you have a reseller or a, one of the, a license, um, so you can get your stuff tax free. Okay. Jeanette's on her lunch hour. She's so gonna watch the rerun. Oh, okay. Thank you, Jeanette. Linda, I think I have one. 
I know I, it reminded me my mom had one so that's where I knew it from when I saw it I think actually mom probably still has it <laughs> the tomato for the pin oh, the pin cushion yeah, I'm sure she does yeah Oh, that's really cool. Oh, Linda, I know. I've been taking my dad and we've been going <laughs> we've been going and buying florals at Michael's. They're seventy percent off. You see how thick that is? <laughs> okay, let me just move this. Look at that. That's big. Mm-hmm. So I just need to I flip it over just to make sure that everything is still the way I had it laying. Not that anybody's going to see the back side, but still. So that's uh, if she buys any more floors, she won't be able to walk down the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I tell you that I'm, my husband made me another flower tower? I'm going to use a brown pipe cleaner for this one. Yeah, it's almost done. I still don't think there's going to be enough room for everything. Mm -hmm. I said for the other flower tower, I think I'm still going <laughs> to need more, but it's okay. Two is better than nothing. You need a 20 by 20 shed. I, I've already told my husband, but <laughs> I don't get a shed, so <laughs> I'm taking over the house. <laughs> Nancy, you got to run. She'll message you about the kit and bow. Okay, honey. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Jeanette wants one. I have no room. Yeah, I know. Who wants one of the towers? Hey, Jeanette, I am. Um, I keep making room. <laughs> I'm like, oh, do we need this? We should get rid of it. Okay, so I feel like everything is situated good. I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten it. So then I'm just gonna take my pipe cleaner and hold that while I. Um, fluff. Teresa said, my son built me four towers <gasps> and it's still not enough. I believe it. <laughs> did I cuss? <laughs> I don't know. What'd you say? Well, I don't know. What did I say? <laughs> <Yeah>. Hi, husband. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I really try and be careful. Did I cuss? Sorry, everybody. <laughs> my dad made me do it. <laughs> it's all your fault. Ed. I don't use bad words. Oh my! Mm hmm. My butt, you don't. Ah, uh, see. That's I said butt. If butt becomes a bad word, we seriously have some issues in this world. Yeah. Well, let's like, talk about bows. Let's talk about bows. I'm I'm fluffing a bow. See that? I'm fluffing. <laughs> Fluffing. That's so nice. Actually, I'm gonna kind of make that go underneath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He does not cuss, Mom said. Whatever. Jeanette used to drive. Oh, Jeanette, you and I would. Truck. We I would get along. Like a sailor. We would get along <laughs> fantastic <laughs> in person. <laughs> you need a fluff box. I'm getting you prepared for your lives, okay? Who said that? Jeanette. You said that last time, I think, <laughs> right? She did. <laughs> <laughs> I like my fluff box. It's called my hand. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm almost done. Wow, these colors are so awesome, though. I uh, love it. I think it turned out good. What do you guys think? Yeah. And then you can just kind of use your fingers to. Very simple and very easy. 
God, I hope it looks like that. Okay, I thought I fluffed this side, but apparently not. Okay, guys. Very awesome. I can't see it, so. Yeah, that's, that's oh, that's so awesome. nice. Oh. I love it. Is that cute? Is that all cute? Thank you. Okay. So, that is number three. That's the Starburst bow. Okay, Papa, here. Oh. We got it. Next, we have... I, what I call the Live, Laugh, Love Bow. Why do I call it that? Because this is my favorite quote. The name of my business is 3L, which is L-L-L, there's three. That's where the name of my business comes from. So, this is the Live, Laugh, Love Bow with five ribbons, two or two and a half inch, three or one and a half inch. We're gonna do 14 inch tails, not a starburst. So for this one, we are using this along with this. I'm so excited. Stay. Please stay. They want to see. Okay. And then, let's see what order I want to do these. Hmm. Let's say, hey, I'm not dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to do this one and a half inch and these. I'm not sure what order I'm going to do these in yet. Jeanette has that one. Oh, yeah? Which one? There's five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's one of these two. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to start with this one. So we're going to do 14 inch tails. Oh, I can put these away too now. Let me cut this. First and last, mm. Jeanette. So. I just love these colors. I'm also really loving the turquoise and orange. thought these colors were really pretty as far as like the live laugh love part of how I called it <laughs> so I'm gonna do six inch tails I'm gonna do uh, not tails loops geez they are beachy I'm gonna, it's, um, I'm gonna do three on each side the beachy ribbons I love making beach themed wreaths too Yeah, so in my new group, I think I'm going to start doing some extra tutorials in there just for the group. <laughs> I think that'll be fun. Hopefully, it'll encourage others to do the same. But now that I'm getting my webcam, I'm hoping that I can try YouTube lives again. Day. I'm so excited. Hopefully it's set up so that I can use it on Thursday. I'm sure it will. <laughs> it will be. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> because then everybody can see everything in view and not 
missing what I'm doing right now because they can't see. Do you? Yeah, I just like to lay it out so that I don't have to do it again later, but it's probably easier to do it that way if you want to see the um, ruler, huh? Do you? Why are you turning it on, Dad? I didn't. Uh -huh. I had a message, but... I can't find it. Oh. From Angela posted on me oh. to raise the neighbors. Yeah, I don't want to see. Uh, I don't want to hear my voice. <laughs> Shh. Jeanette said maybe that's my problem. I think that that would probably be a good idea for me to try because um, it's sometimes hard to see the ruler. So I'm going to do these in five inch loops and I'm going to do two because then we're moving on to the one and a half inch. Virginia, oh man, yeah. who'd you get that from? You don't have to say if you don't want to, but I'm just curious. That's horrible. I've actually gotten a roll of poly burlap uh, and the same thing. It was just a complete mess. Not that I guess it matters who you got it from because it comes from the manufacturer that way. Is he snoring? Yep. <laughs> the puppy snoring. I love this ribbon. It's so pretty. Mm. Yeah, it's very nice. I just love these colors. Okay. So, next, which color? I think I was doing this in the middle. I think I'm gonna do that next, okay. So nice. Oh, what? I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. I like that one. What? That this ribbon that you just used. Oh, yeah. I like the colors. So I'm going to do a four inch loop. I think I'm just going to do two on each side of this. So you did all the tails the same size? Yeah, so this one is not a starburst. Okay. No, you're good, Robin. Ooh, what kind of dogs do you have? Labs. Uh, oh. How old are they? I saw that part. I just, it didn't click. <laughs> I don't know why, but sometimes I feel like it's longer than I've measured out. I need to start practicing to do this. 
then I probably won't cut myself either. Maybe. Cutting the tail. I watched Lori do it the other day and I was like, that's a great idea. How'd she do it? I'll show you. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's the color. Yeah. So she takes the dovetail. Mm-hmm. But holding it upside down and then you cut in towards. So it, it honestly it probably is better to do it that way because then <coughs> you run the, you don't run the risk of cutting yourself. So I'm going to do um, one loop in the same size on both. Oh, these are so pretty together. I like it. This looks really nice. 12, two labs, 12 years old. One's blinded. Aww. And a chihuahua that's going to be eight in July 4th. Aww. Comfortable? Angela, I'm still here. This is from Mary Arilano. Ar 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 <laughs> no, you're good, Mary. I love the ribbon you used on the other book. Yeah, that was the, the rushed one. Her and I both got it the other day. We oh, went to, um, uh -huh. yeah. I tried, I went yesterday because I needed to get something and I looked for it and I couldn't find it. Wish they would just have the same things. Oh, let me cut that, sorry. I'm actually gonna do something different with this ribbon. This is actually gonna be the center. So. Just gonna do a loop and that's it. Loop de loop. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> I don't think Franklin likes you next to him at all. He doesn't. Yeah. He's like, Robin, tell he's like comatose. <laughs> okay. So I take our zip tie. Part the red C here. I'm actually going to pull that one to there too. I'm going to get this zip tie started. Oh, I can't, I have to do this here first, otherwise it won't stay. So then, now that I have it off, I'm just going to um, twist this around, put it in the middle, trying to keep it all together still. or whatever you want to use. So this is going to come over here. This is actually the middle of the bow. Who is on speaker, hubby? No, dad's sitting here next to me. <laughs> Robin, it's me, Robin. Say hi to Dan. So you just want to make sure you just have them separated still like you did before you tighten it all the way.
Did I just lose something? Yeah, babe. Sorry. Sorry there, Frankie. Thank you. <laughs> Robin, oh my god, I sell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it. So I use a zip tie, but you can use uh, the floral wire or whatever works for you to do this part. I try, Robin. So, I'm pull this up a little bit if I can. Sorry, I'm just adjusting, that's all. Okay. And then we're just going to fluff these out. Sorry, I have something in my eye. Okay, besides my finger. <laughs> he sure is, Robin. He hadn't been over in a few days because I've been busy, <laughs> if you will. And so he came over today. Felt weird not having him over. Mary said you should have your husband do a fluff box. Oh my gosh. I love to use it. Do you have one or are you saying you would... Oh, you ha do you have one? Watch, I can have him make it, and then I probably won't even know how to use it. <laughs> July 1st, Robin, I have an appointment. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? And I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mary's husband made her one, a small one. Oh, okay. Well, Roy's on my second flower tower, so as soon as he's done with that, I'll ask him. But he's also working on a, a ribbon cabinet that I've, we're designing together. <laughs> so, um, um, boy. So eventually, I will have that. Just bear with me, guys. I'm sorry. He's a busy man. Okay. So, you hear him sneezing? He sneezes like he can wake the dead. So you can either pull your um, tails between your fingers like I am to kind of get them to curl. Jeanette left. Uh, she had to go back to work. Oh, okay. Keep these people in line. <laughs> Bye. And then they had to run. Oh, okay. Getting ready to head to the beach. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> or you could also, um, you can curl the ribbon. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> It's hard doing this upside down, but I think you get the idea. So there's a number four, the live, laugh, love bow. Come on, dad, get with the program. Uh, I'm a, I got somebody on my lap here. Can I give me a oh. break? <laughs> Frankie, move. We're busy here. Okay, the next one is the simply elegant bow. That's what I call it anyway. Oh, wow. Nice, Linda. Okay. So I chose these two for this. And <laughs> both are Christmas from Hobby Lobby. So we've got two ribbons, one two and a half inch, one one and a half inch, and they're going to have 10 inch tails. Okay. 
very simple. number five <laughs> um I have a consult with the surgeon on Thursday when we should be having happy hour so it's still going to be happy hour because it'll be five o'clock somewhere but we're just doing it earlier so okay I'm gonna do five inch loops I'm going to do three on each side I just really like this ribbon it just to me it it kind of said, hi, I'm elegant. <laughs> Plus, it's like, you haven't used me. You've been wanting to use me. So please use me. I'm elegant. See, the ribbon talks to me. I don't know about you guys. But... <laughs> if it doesn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just have the special connection with ribbon. So much so that I just can't not buy any thank you i w i'm trying <laughs> today is the eye doctor <laughs> so i'm going to make this a little bit smaller the next loop okay. yeah thank you just gonna make it um, four inch. Yes. Thank you, Dad. I love you. Bye, everybody. Dad's leaving. Say bye. Bye. Nap time. Nice. Right, you no play. nap for me today. I can take a nap for you when I get up. <laughs> <laughs> Franklin does not want to let Papa go. He's like laying on him. Dead. Robin said bye, Sal. Bye. <laughs> he said bye. That's so not. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Okay. I'm going to kind of do the same thing, but I'm going to do three inch loops. That really is elegant, though, huh? <laughs> I think I nailed it. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just gonna do this one loop and then I'll do this middle. Let's see. Hmm. Okay.
a smaller zip tie on this one because it's not that big. Hey babe, I need a fluff box. What does that mean? It's for bows. <laughs> so I'll, I'll show you what I mean and you can make it for me. Okay. It's very easy. Okay. okay. Yay! Everybody keeps telling me I need one. <laughs> hey, I'm live. pretty. Okay, now if this doesn't say elegant, then I'm not good at this. That is number five, the Simply Elegant Bow. Elbow, not elbow. <laughs> and these are the colors I, I decided I wanted to use because I really like this ribbon. I decided that I'm going to use so it's six ribbons, three two and a half inch, three one and a half inch with 14 inch tails. So I'm using this one with this. with the burgundy polka dots. And then, ah, I'm trying to cut this plastic off. With this. With some brown. And some more burgundy. This is the next bow. Three two and a half inch and three one and a half inch. 14 inch tails. I wonder if I can do this upside down. I'm gonna try. I have to practice it eventually. Oh, 
three loops on each side, six inch. Actually, this is a little bit easier. I guess I should have tried this a long time ago. Geez, I thought 10 would be plenty, but apparently 10 might be too many. <laughs> okay, I think we'll go with this one next. Do two on each side that are five inches. Just doing it different ways to show you that you can. So I'm kind of just stacking them up right now. Maybe this will be the last one, and I'll do another live to finish the other four. Maybe I should have done five and five. Yeah, maybe I will. I don't want to keep you all on here too long. Huh. 
I should come on here later once I've had my eyes dilated. <laughs> One four inch. A little bit more than three inches but I mean you can really make it whatever you want so I'm gonna do three loops on each side of this too kind of like what we did with the two and um, the two and a half inch oh the ribbon drives me crazy This was really wound up. What the heck? Oh, this is so annoying. Okay. Guess it just wants to uh, keep me on my toes. even going to bother trying to wind that one up right now. <laughs> oh, you're not going to do this to me too. Okay. The thing is, is if I knew how much I was going to use, I could just easily cut it. But when you're making a bow, it's kind of like you just do whatever you feel comes natural. And see, it's already starting to wind up. <laughs> so this I'm going to do a little bit less than uh, three. So like two and a half. Excuse me. So two on each side. Okay, good. Hi, you're welcome, Mom. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to stop here uh, once I'm done with this one. 
and then I will record the rest kind of as a bonus so if anybody wants to see it on YouTube they can find it there which I'll post as well since I have to get ready to go to the eye doctor that one a little bit less also but I'm going to do one loop on each side You guys stuck it out with me this far thank you very much I appreciate it I'm going to uh, get going I think this is number six yeah so I have four more that I have planned to make I will either come out come on live later or I will record it separately um, and put it on YouTube so that you all can see it there really need to get my eye checked so sorry guys who would think that it would take that long to make bows <laughs> Thanks everybody too for asking how I'm doing. Um, don't forget I have a contest that I'm running right now. Um, I'm also going to be putting kits up on my website soon. Uh, the bike kit, the patriotic kit, and the um, fall kit. If you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see for a kit, let me know um, and I'll see what I can do. The kit is not up on my website yet. I'm working on it, um, but you can find them and I'll post it on my page so that you know I've posted it too, but it'll be um, at www.thenumber3l, which is E-L-L-E, creations.com uh, under my shop. Just trying to line this up because it gets really thick. Give them a reason to bark. The wind is blowing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tighten this up now. Oh, in a minute.
Oh. Psst. What did I do? Pulled it from the wrong side. There we go. Definitely want to give that fluff box a try. I hate getting it fixed on one side and then fighting with it to do it again because I just did it. I feel like that side cooperated more than the other. Jeez. <laughs> hey, you leaving? I'm gonna go get Sammy. Okay. Did you check her flight information? Oh, good idea. She probably checked in a bag too. This is one of the things that you can do with the tails when it cooperates. Something like that. Instead of doing it the way I was showing you. You just gotta play with it to get it to work. So, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get ready for my appointment. I will, um, finish recording these later uh, and post them so that you all can see them. Um, I guess I was a little overly ambitious by thinking I was going to do 10, but I got through six. <laughs> so thanks for joining me and I will see you on Thursday for morning happy hour um, when I will be doing a flamingo themed wreath. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, don't forget about the contest that I have going on and the kids are coming out and find my um, creative crafters group, creative Craft crafters guild. Say that three times fast. Even that was too hard. Okay. Um, I'll see y'all later. Thanks. Bye.